Hey watch Alex, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing with Heartstopper Season 3, Episodes 4, excuse me, 5 through 8. Um, I am dying to see the second part. I actually ended up taking a one week break from a after watching Episode 4. So I'm so excited to get into this reaction right now. We're just gonna, we're gonna blow through this. I'm really sad because I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a lot of stuff. I know there's, I think they have sex. There's a lot of sexual tension that I think is going to be released in the second half of, of the season. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. But guys, if you did not already know, if you want to see these reactions unedited, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. At this point, all the episodes should be up for the season. But without further ado, let's stop talking and let's get into Heartstopper. What are you worried about today? No, I'm just thinking about what presents I'm going to get. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I guess it'll be nice. I don't think last season we saw any of Christmas time. Always grumpy when Grandma and Granddad are coming round. And yet she still invites them every Christmas. Oh my God. They're going to be best friends, right? Oh my God. I hate pugs. I really do. I am not a fan of the pug. If it gets too much, there's a little guy here who needs hugs. By little guy who needs hugs, I did mean Henry, but actually that applies to me as well, so yeah. That's too cute. You're still looking a bit skinny, aren't you? I thought you were getting all that mess sorted out. Oh, hell no! Oh my god, the grandparents, the grandparents. I don't know why this is giving me PTSD to Bridgerton season two, that dinner. We can always try the breathing exercises that he suggested. You can do it, Charlie. You can do it. Any lovely men in your life? <laughs> well, you're not missing out on much. Straight boys are the absolute worst. How's everyone doing down here? Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. Great, thanks. We're fine. We're fine. Can I just try and have a normal? Oh God. Oh, ew. Oh, we have to see him again? You know dad's not coming. He always says he's gonna pop in and he never does. Stop acting like you know everything. Ever since your boyfriend became mentally deranged, you've been acting like you're the savior of the earth. Don't say that about Charlie. I mean, I get it. Like, he wants attention. He stops eating. You have to be the hero. I'm sorry? Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. I'm still on that comment. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm mentally deranged. Ugh. Horrid. Oh, Christmas brings everyone together. He's gonna like try to touch her, I think. Oh. Sorry, was that? We should we go for a walk? He's like. Oh God, did I just try to touch her boobs? Oh. You just hear horror stories, don't you? White walls, straight jackets, all that. I said, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. He wasn't crazy. He wasn't in a mental institute. Not everybody understands what you've been dealing with. So I just have to put up with ignorant comments from my own family. We just need to get through the day. You only managed half your dinner and, and the dietitian said that that's- You're not helping. Can't you at least spend Christmas with me? Aww. Spend all your time with Nick anyway. Because he treats me as something other than mentally ill. I do too. Aww. Wanna talk about it? You go again with no, I don't wanna talk about it. I just wanna make out with my boo. Nick is a Nick is a huge fan of the hand of the face grab. I do love a good kiss grab, but I take it this is the boyfriend then. I've got right now. Like, so, sir, can you turn around, please? I'm trying to get changed. Can I change? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, of course. Or just leave the room. I would just be like, oh, okay, sorry, I'll just leave. Oh my God, the pug. <laughs> oh my, oh God, is this whole episode season just gonna be like, it's gonna be like always like at the like like at the you know are they going to are they not 
kind of tension kind of thing. Your dad is family. I think family are the people who actually give a shit. You left me to fend for myself against our cousins. I get that you're scared of being a burden. We just want to be there for you. You have to let us. And not just say that you're fine when you're not. Tao. I don't want to do anything unless you also want to do things. I think about it. Like, all the time. Not all the time. A respectful... <laughs> I mean, they're 16, 17 years old. I don't really think about you being trans, if that makes it easier. I know, but... Mm. I am trans, and it's a big part of me. I never imagined finding a boyfriend and, and feeling so safe with him that I'd even think about, like, taking my clothes off in front of him. Ah. Oh. All my dysphoria just hit me. It made me feel like my body wasn't my body. Like... Oh, great, here we go. It wasn't that at all. I know we haven't really talked about this before, so... It's hard to talk about. I love everything about you. God, here I'm crying again on a... want to do or not do... Saturday night. Okay. Well, actually, I'm I'm actually intrigued. I, I mean, I, I I don't know if she's gotten like surgeries done. Like, I don't know what her situation is. A bit more about what you're comfortable with. Oh, it's just like no one at sixteen. I feel like in real life is having these freaking kind of conversations. I do wonder though. It's like I I. I actually do feel like the like the whole of the having Olivia Coleman there. Like I do miss that part, and it actually makes me really sad that we're missing her because like he just looks like he lives by himself. It's kind of weird, but yeah. You don't need to rush to come out as anything. Just chill and like have fun with it. Oh, the tension is real up in here. We want to have sex. Oh my god. No. They don't want to. I'm scared. I mean, they hate that this is something that's been with him in that way. You trust him, and he loves you, and if anything goes wrong, I'll be here for you. Aww. The friendships are so real! One day you're gonna make friends with someone you actually enjoy being around. The only person I care about is you. It won't be true forever. We haven't spoken properly since Halloween, and now you're here to kiss me at midnight. I'm not here for that. I'm just to apologize for Halloween. I don't want to be just an experiment to you. Especially when you know you're the reason I realized I was by in the first place. I didn't know that. I nearly found you, but he don't see me as an equal. Oh, Tori! Did you find somebody? Who's this guy? I do love New Year's though. I think New Year's is such a wonderful day. Aww. Do it! Like, I don't know! Oh, God. Oh. Great episode. You settle back in a school in January. I'm here if you want any extra support, okay? Whatever you need. Don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of help. I still relapsed two weeks after. I know it happens. It's normal. You made me feel like shit. You said that and made me feel insane. Just fuck off. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh. You are three months clean. That's our second bit of progress, isn't it? I actually would have liked to see the full scene, like, as it is, instead of, like, a flashback. But that's just me. You feel you and Nick have progressed in your relationship? Probably since that night of the argument. Guess we feel a lot closer. If your intrusive thoughts have lessened, you've got more energy to give to your relationship. Yeah, he has more energy to give to his relationship. <laughs> more energy. 
and enjoy your birthday and party hard. 16's one of the big ones. Oh, six. Oh, he's not even six. Wait, Charlie isn't even 16? Wait, what? Oh my God. Literally a child. We've had contact from a local radio station about you. What? Yeah, they've heard about your social media blowing up and they want to interview you. Happy birthday! Are you ever gonna get tired of- They're so damn- oh, fucking god damn, they're so good. Oh my god. Oh my god, is this- oh my god, is this the Jonathan Bailey episode? Is this the one? Is this the Jonathan Bailey episode? <gasps> okay, let us prep. Let me prep for this. Well. Clearly not as much as Jack Maddox, but I'll take it. Do I also get a birthday kiss? Oh, to be 15, 16. Oh, he's 16. Never mind. He's 16 years old. 16. He's 16. Oh my God. <laughs> guys, you can't be doing that here. <laughs> reel it in, guys. Guys, reel it in. Yeah, yeah not at school. Reel it in. Reel it in. <laughs> Sleepover on Saturday, though. Yeah. Sleeping over, all right. <laughs> Me and Nick were making out in a practice room and it got really intense really quickly. And then it stopped and it was kind of awkward and overwhelming. <laughs> He's talking about having sex. Yeah, I know. I, I know, and I know it's obvious that we both want to and it's not like we've done nothing. I mean, I'm just scared that he's not ready to do anything more. And I'm scared that I'm not gonna know what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> I love, I live. Uh, this is for you. I found him at a charity shop and he just had your energy, so I figured he belonged with you. And so, uh, okay, well, um, bye everyone. T Tori's boyfriend. She won't confirm whether they're dating or not. <laughs> she won't confirm if they're dating or not. He is an interesting fella, I'll tell you that. I have no idea who I am. I don't really know much about anything at the moment, actually. I don't want to keep hurting you. I don't think I could ever hate you. You helped me realize something pretty big about myself. I guess I could say the same about you. No, oh, they're just trying to figure out who they are. I like us better as friends. Mm. I'll probably just try and get in somewhere local so I can stay here. We want to stay close to Charlie. Guys, can we not talk about uni stuff right now? You don't think you could do long distance? Okay, I think, I think you're having a panic attack. <laughs> Breathe in for three. And breathe out. I've been there. I had a panic attack once during COVID. It was pretty scary. He's like, look at you. That was amazing. Come here. Honey, I'm right here. Let's get it out. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I had to but... Except no, this wouldn't be the right time though. We're intoxicated. He's gonna say something and he's gonna come here. Sexy things. <laughs> of sex. <laughs> well, I wasn't ready in Paris, but it was a long time ago. Y you're incredibly drunk. <laughs> oh, I'm, so, I'm scared that that you look at me. You want to be sick? Oh, oh shit. Um, let's go to the toilet. Come on. <laughs> and then we were in the kitchen. He has to remember what he said. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassing. Uh, no, I'm, I'm glad you brought it up. Oh god. Oh god. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not ready. I need a fan. I need a fan to get my man. I'm allowed to have a crush on a celebrity. I can't believe I'm about to be replaced. <laughs> <laughs> Me, help me. He is so fine. He is so damn fine. Oh God, Jonathan Bailey, man, the man that you are. At last week, we had a feminist speaker on the show who talked to us about the importance of same-sex spaces. 
I think it's so important we hear all voices and opinions, so... Trans people aren't a debate. We're human beings. Our speaker last week believed that the presence of gender-neutral bathrooms will increase cases of sexual assault against women. What the fuck happened? Hey! Now, there have been rumours. We were told she was here to discuss Should we go in? Should we stop it? Not sure. what we agreed. It is inappropriate and it is manipulative and... Uh... Hey, yeah, I thought she was supposed to be talking about art. Oh, God, so <laughs> What's your name? Charlie. Well, uh, me? No. Um... <laughs> All of us. All really, of us. Really interesting talk. Really fun. The Mesopotamian joke was... All of us when we look at Jonathan Bailey. Nice to meet you. Um, sorry. Um, hello. He's like, am I gay? <laughs> yeah, he's really hot. <laughs> literally, literally all of us. Literally all of us watching this. I... Cannot. Oh my god. Jonathan Bailey just man that you are. Oh, he's still like panicking. Oh yeah. Should we stop? Can I take this off? Mm. Oh. Wait, how I paused it because it, it was so awkward. Oh god. Oh god. I'm nervous about taking my shirt off. I don't look like Jack Maddox or anything. Oh bless. None of us look like that man. He's a one and only. You know I really fancy you. Like infinitely more than Jack Maddox. I really did want to carry on. I really want to Mom, have you seen my laptop charger? Yeah, you might as well just go to his house because he lives by himself. <laughs> Part of the intimacy is trusting someone enough to let go of some control. And that's scary. Mm. Just wish I was more confident. Charlie, I think you have a lot of confidence. Aren't you the one who confessed your feelings to Nick first? When you didn't even know whether he liked you back? Facts, facts. This is true. Not something we ever think about, but he was the first one to kind of kiss him. He was the first one to tell him he loves him. Oh, we're having that situation with Tara as well. Trying to figure out what she wants to do with school. Maybe she just wants to like dance. Guys, there is school. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I love my ballet classes, but I've got to get three buses to get them. Well, I could drive you to ballet if you want. I haven't really got much going on, to be honest. Well, that's because you've been focused on helping Charlie. You need to remember to look after yourself, too. I still think journaling is really beneficial. I like that we've gotten a lot more Nick and Tara together. That's been really nice. It's not exactly rocket science, is it? I mean, how bad can it really be? I don't know. I feel like I don't know anything. <laughs> oh, just have sex with him, please. So we can stop hearing about it. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it is a little bit different when two guys have sex than it is, you know. And it's so useless. <laughs> Just put a condom on a cucumber, same as last year's sex event. <laughs> Even after that, we still had a lot to learn about each other. And what feels good. You know, it's not some perfect, effortless thing. <laughs> Isaac reading in the back. <laughs> Charlie, come on, no doubt. He's like, we have five minutes before my mom gets home. <laughs> like, come on, let's get it in now. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, it's just funny. This is kind of funny. God. <laughs> oh, have you? Have you <gasps> Fuck off. Sorry. Guys, y'all need to find a schedule of time, you know, no one's gonna be home. That's hilarious. Have it's been too much? Yeah. Been worried about you. Decided I'm gonna look after myself and do what I want. I wanted to give you this. 
Campaigning starts in the autumn. I think you should apply. What the heck is head boy? I don't know what this, I don't know what they do in English schools. There are a lot of um, younger students who would find it inspiring to see you as head boy. Aww. Oh no! Should we uh, go for lunch? Yeah. I love Tao. <laughs> and he would fight the world for me. But he just can't properly understand. Yeah. We're here. You don't understand. <laughs> These chicks, can they just do it already? I can't. This has like been like two episodes of this whole like, are they, are they not? I mean, I know that they are, but can we get there already? <sighs> I mean, school is an option. You had sex at school? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was only once. <laughs> it was a really bad idea. There's so much pressure to have sex at our age, but people should just take as long as they need. I just don't think I would have had the courage to explore being non-binary if it weren't for you. Non-binary? Yeah. Me and Nick were wondering if I could stay around his one night. Uh, yes, at some point. This is such an awkward conversation. <sighs> this is such an awkward conversation to have with your mom. You know what? Let's just we'll talk about this once your exams are over, Charlie. I'm not a child. If I want to see my boyfriend, then I will. You can't stop me. I know you've been really down lately and uninspired about your art. It made me think about when Charlie was really ill and I made him that little video. So I made you one. Oh, God, am I going to cry? Because she remains to be that's how i see you oh that was beautiful university of kent nick i need a distraction <laughs> this is such a crazy please don't leave me behind oh He's stressed. Yeah, I've been ill, but that doesn't mean that I can't do fun things and be a teenager. I'm not fragile. You give me so much confidence. But when you're not around, I, um... Mm. I don't know, I guess I feel a bit lost. When I realized I was bi... Because I was repressing so much myself before then. Not just my sexuality, but my thoughts and feelings. My personality. I still hide behind that mask sometimes now i'm thinking about uni and my future and it is difficult basically i'm just freaking out is it is it about to go down is it about to go down over here oh god that's terrifying it's terrifying it's definitely terrifying This is literally the only thing I've been able to think about. An air duct. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, you're <laughs> calm down. He's like, I can't wait to have sex with my boyfriend. <laughs> it's a bust. It's gonna, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. Good. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be hard to watch. I was like, oh god, this is gonna be like hard to watch. But also, like, I have to remember this isn't like an R-rated show, right? They can't show certain things, probably certain movements, certain things, right? They, there's only only so much they can show, and also like who knows, you know, what the actors are comfortable doing, things like that. But I think that was very beautifully done, very beautifully shot. I thought. It, it gave us exactly what we needed to know. We don't have to see all these other things. Like it was, it was nice. It was really, really nice. I appreciated that a lot. I liked the way that that was done. This is not what I expected to happen today. Can't believe we waited so long. 
He didn't mind that I kept my shirt on. Do you? No. I loved every second of what just happened. Yay! Oh. Loads, loads of practice. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <of> <laughs> No, no, of course I haven't been researching. Okay, maybe a little bit. <laughs> Internet history? Absolutely not. Yes. Charlie, yes, Charlie, yes, seriously, are. don't do yep. that. Charlie. Oh, it's his school stuff. You've been looking at unis? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> me and the girls are going to go on a little road trip to visit some of them. Some of these are really far away. But my top choices are local. He probably wants, to, oh, this is, this is, this is giving to all the boys I loved part three. Always and for, always and forever? Always and forever? I feel like that's what that's giving. It's giving like, uh, do we want to like, you know. Is that your mom? Oh yeah, probably. Why are you laughing this way? It's so funny. Why are you so stressed out about it? What are they? The mom that's actually never there. I love you. So wait, but why I love is you? Oh wait, I'm uh, I'm a little bit confused. Someone remind me in the comments. Is is Nick older than Charlie? Is that why he's prepping to go to uni and he's still staying? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You come home in Michael's clothes all the time. That's different. You can just tell me you're dating. It's kind of obvious. I don't know what you're talking about. But I just want to live my life like a normal teenager. And you're sensible, I know you are. But I also think that boyfriend sleepovers are a really big step. What are you smiling about? It happened, didn't it? <laughs> oh, God, it happened, it happened, it happened, it happened. <laughs> He's probably gonna like it. Like, I'm not gonna be shocked that that's what's gonna happen. It's literally only 15 minutes away from your house. Yep. That's your top choice, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, it'd be nice to live at home. My mum won't be on her own and be close to Charlie. What about when Charlie goes to uni the next year? Yeah, if he leaves, then you'll still be apart. It's weird how I used to like you. <laughs> oh, weird. Okay. I'm not weird. No, ah, uh, um... <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever liked a boy. Actually, when I really think of it, I'm sorry, that point makes no sense. Oh, she's just trying to figure it out. So what do you think? I think I kind of hate it. Yep. Have you ever thought about a gap year? I think I want the uni experience, you know? Like meeting new people and uni sports, societies. I have no idea what I'd do with a year off. You two have been keeping each other... <laughs> entertained. <laughs> Modern health pharmacy? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's so awkward. Well, I need to make a new one then because this was not my best work. Why are you being all soppy? I just don't think I tell you enough how important you are to me. Leeds University. So, I'm going to be your tour guide today. My name is Will. We're we looking to carry on with rugby at uni. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. My partner's actually on one of the teams. Josh! No, like, he likes the idea. I think he's like, yeah, like, I want to play rugby at school, like meet new people, like this would be fun. I think I've realized that e even though I love Nick, I need other people. My sister, my parents when they're not being annoying, my friends. Oh, we've come such a long way, yo. Damn. You really like Leeds? Well, then can. If I move away, it will hurt Charlie. Look, you're a bit of a people pleaser. No, he needs to hear this. You have to put yourself first right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Charlie will support you. I'm afraid of being away from him. I don't know who I am without him. Maybe it's time to find out. Yeah. Good job, Charlie. We're leaving in a minute. 
I'm ready. Oh, I'm so happy! We've come so far. <laughs> I'm so happy for him. I'm, I'm literally just so happy for him. What does boyfriend and girlfriend mean anyway? They're just words we made up to label common experiences and relationships. They shouldn't matter. I mean, I don't care what society thinks about our relationship as long as we're both happy. If, if she doesn't want to label it, I literally don't care. I just figured we should have a conversation about it, but now... I wish I hadn't said anything. I don't ever feel anything. That's not true. You feel so much. Yeah. Just trapped inside. I'm okay now, Tori. Yeah, I'll still have bad days, but... I'm okay. There you go, you got it. Oh, we come so far. <laughs> I'm so happy. He's like, no, I I can do this without Nick. Aww. I'm sorry I wasn't there before you went on. It's okay. I was okay. I'm thinking about going to art school in Europe. I need to find a job though, because my mum's not gonna pay for international travel. I mean, she doesn't even pay for my bus fare to school, so. Yeah. Aww. She's doing her. You have to tell him that you wanna go to the University of Leeds, honey. So are they dating or? I'm not really sure. That's suspicious. Yeah, that's, that's weird. That was an interesting look. What did that mean? <laughs> it's the fact that the mom is never there that gets me every time. <laughs> is he gonna take off his shirt? He's gonna take it off. He's gonna take it off. He's gonna take off his shirt because it's gonna be the full circle. Take mine off. Called it. Please. Yes. I love this arc. I love this arc for Charlie. I'm just, they did such a good job. This is me, baby. This is me. Is it when he said like something, it was like an interview where like, they did it for so long that like his like, from his beard, it started to like rash and they had to like digitally remove it. Oh, so that was the way it ended. Interesting. So he didn't even tell him of that he wants to go to the University of Leeds. Interesting. Huh. I didn't see that coming that way. Very interesting. That was the end of that whole season. What wonderful season. But anyway, guys, what did you think of this episode? What did you, excuse me, what did you think of this episode? What did you think of the season? Because that was the end. Did you like this one more than season two? What were your thoughts overall about the season? What are you hoping to see in season four? Anyway, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button. And of course, like I mentioned before, if you want to check out my uncut reactions to the season, head on over to my Patreon. The link will be down in the description. But other than that, thanks for being here, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.